In James chapter 2, we are finishing up today this thought that we've been having on favoritism over the past few weeks here. And we've been talking a lot about favoritism. You know, we don't need to prejudge people as Christians. We don't need to make up our mind who folks are before we even know who they are. We cannot look at somebody's outward appearance and say, I will not pay any attention to you or I will pay attention to you just based upon solely exterior. We need to be able to get to know folks. We need to be able to, uh, uh, you know, give people a chance. And that's what he's really been talking about here in James chapter number two. In the last couple faith field devotionals, we've seen two things that really combat favoritism. And remember, prejudice creates favoritism and favoritism creates jealousy. And we've been talking about that. Uh, but really, Two things so far that we've seen that uh, beat favoritism. The first one is being uh, consistent. We need to be consistent. We need to treat every person the same and give every person a chance based upon the love of God in our lives. We saw the second thing that combats favoritism, being consecrated. I need to understand that the law of God needs to be fully completed by loving my neighbor. All right, And I need to not just say, well, I'll love some of my neighbors, but not these neighbors over here because of how they look. I need to be consecrated in my life. And the last thing that we're going to be seeing is two sides of the same coin. Okay, And this is something we've been building towards. You know, a coin has two sides, and uh, both sides make up the same coin. And I want to talk about two things that we need to have in our life to help us make up this idea of combating favoritism, and that is being considerate, all right? James two twelve says, So speak ye, and so do, as they shall be judged by the law of liberty. For he shall have judgment without mercy, that has showed no mercy, and mercy rejoiceth against judgment. Two things in the coin that we need to look at today, this idea of having judgment and mercy. You need both. You can't be a person that's all judgment, because if you become a person that's all judgment, you will become cruel. You can't be a person that's all mercy, because if you are all mercy, then you will become a person that compromises. You need to have judgment and mercy. You need to have both sides of the coin, and that's what balances us out as a Christian. When you look at the cross of Christ, for instance, you can see both sides of the coin when you look at the cross. One person can look at the cross and say, wow, look at the mercy and the love of God, that Jesus Christ would die on my behalf. As the Bible says, Romans 5, 8, God commendeth his love towards us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And one person can look at the cross and say, look how much God loves us, that he would go through the pain and the suffering physically and spiritually on the cross for us, that he would do that for me. Wow, look at the mercy. But one could also look at the cross and see the judgment side of it. What do you mean? That you could look at the cross and say, wow, look how much God hates sin. God despises sin so much that he would put his own son through the cross. He, he hates sin so much, he hates it with such ferocity that he would separate his own son from himself in order to defeat it. Look how much God hate sin. You can look at the cross and see the love of God, the mercy of God, and you can also see the righteous indignation and judgment of God at the same time. God is a God of love and mercy, and God also is a God of judgment and punishment. And he comes together perfectly balanced for us. How do I need to be in my life towards other people? I need to have mercy and judgment. I need to be able to show mercy where mercy needs to be shown, and I need to show judgment where judgment needs to be shown. I need to be willing to have both. You can't be bent towards one or the other. And as I look and uh, study people, which is kind of part of my job and even study myself, I notice that every single person is either bent towards one naturally. You, there are people out there that are naturally more merciful and find being judgment, using the judgment side, uh, more difficult. There are some people that are all judgment and have really a difficult time finding the mercy side 
of their lives. Which one are you? You're going to be bent towards one naturally. And I will say, if you're merciful, that's great. If you are more on the judgment side, that's great. But you need to have it perfectly balanced. All right? You need to have complete understanding. There are times in my life that I need to show mercy, and there are times in my life that I need to show judgment. And when it comes to dealing with people, I need to be consistent, I need to be consecrated, and I need to be considerate, not just of other people, but considerate of what the Lord would have me to do. So here's what I'm saying as we wrap up these thoughts on favoritism. Here's the main thing. You need to treat every person fairly and get to know them. And once you get to know them, you need to pray about how you deal with them. You do. You do not need to be stuck in the mode of this person needs to be loved or this person needs to be shunned. You need to be willing to move based upon how people react. You need to be willing to show love when God tells you to love. And you need to be able to show judgment when God says show judgment. And when I mean judgment, that means just being real with people. You can't help everybody. And not everybody needs to be helped. And the main thing is, this is Christian maturity. You need to pray about how you deal with people. So I want you to look over the relationships in your life. There are ones that you show mercy to and there are ones that you do not. Pray about it. Be willing to change. Be willing to change. And be willing to open your eyes and give people a second chance and third chance when the Lord says it's right. Let's not play favorites. Let's be considerate. Let's be consecrated. And let's be consistent in who we are. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.